Hey everyone, welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD Edition. And we are moving on pretty swiftly here. And we're finally starting to, to get things done in the game. We've found out where Soglov actually is, along with the Shagohod. So all that's left now is uh, for us to get down there and kind of destroy the whole place and free Sokolov. So it sounds pretty easy, but there's still quite a lot to do in between. There's a fair few boss battles and whatever. So let's get started straight away. Alright, we've just come out of Granin's office and it's time to get out of this place. There's a, there's a few scientists here again, which as you might have seen from the last episode are annoying, but that guy's fine. I think there's one more and he's sitting on a desk facing me, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to not trigger an alert. I might just have to I might have to just change clothes and just shoot him instead of trying to to use a cigarette spray. Let me see. There he is, he's on the neck yeah. So if I come up to him he's gonna see me either way. They're really annoying like that. As you saw from the last episode, the the alert kind of triggers straight away. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this. Let me see if he moves. No, I can't get him up. Come on. Well he's not suspicious at all. What an idiot. So as you can see, that's that's what that's what happens. So I'm not really sure how to how to get him. So let me let me try a, another variation. All right. So here's take two. Like I said, I usually I do everything in one take, but this one that scientist really pissed me off. So I had to make sure I got him. So let's try this again. This time I'm just going to try and shoot him from uh, from like this angle so that he doesn't see me. Let me move him out of the way in case he decides to get up for whatever reason. Alright, if I go into this cubicle here I should be able to shoot him, so let me change. <laughs> okay. Let me improve my camo at least, at least a little bit anyway. I don't know why that camo is the best one, but... <laughs> There's no way that that should be the best camo. There we go, you're not going to get me this time, you bastard. Okay. So now that he's dealt with, I think I should be fine for the rest of this. Stupid scientist. Yeah, I've only ever completed the game on European Extreme once, and getting out of here was a was a challenge. <coughs> He's facing the other way, that's good. We've got everything in here before. Yeah, like I said, I did European Extreme once like three, four years ago. And that was like a nightmare, it took me like tw 20 hours or something to finish the game. But I'm definitely not going to be doing that this time. But what I do have is a, uh, for the next boss battle, I do have a, a nice like pro trick to, to show you guys to make that battle pretty much 100% um, success. There's no way you can lose the way I do it, so, and you'll see that in about f five minutes or so. There's one room that I haven't checked out, which is the room with, with the scientist in it. So let me go in there, just in case there's something that I've missed. I want to try and get all of the, the camouflages at least. to get out the way that I tried to come in last time. It should be fine. What's wrong? Yeah. That's not a problem, so I can just crawl out from here. Okay. This should be slightly easier because I can come out where those um, 
where that where the tall grass is. And also, you saw me collect this um, in an earlier one, but like I said, I had to re-record a previous episode, so that's why I needed to collect this one again. So that's another reason I came out from this side. But the other way, when you come out through the main door, there's going to be people kind of surrounding you, so it would be more difficult to, to take them down. So this is much more stealthy. So let's change back. Nah, I think Woodland looks, looks better. Tiger Stripes. Okay. Actually, wait. No. I think Animal's pretty much better every time. Yeah, it's still better. Okay, good. Yeah, the animal camo is like the best one. It's definitely worth beating a uh, ocelot with a stamina kill just to get this animal's uniform. It's really going to help. More MK magic. Righto. Should be just the same guy as always on, on the left. I don't need to take him out, he's he's far away. Don't really need to collect anything either, let's just move straight on. Then I'm gonna try and go a little bit quicker than I than I have been going. So we can get through this game. By my own standards I've been uploading a lot re <laughs> recently. Because I've had time off from uni and stuff. So before it gets busy again, I'm, I'm trying to get through as much of the game as possible. Alright, um... There should be a guy that's going to come across here. But I'm not sure how close he is. Let me see. There he is. Okay. He is down. Finally, I can actually use something other than the MK. Because there's only the dog around. If I shoot the guard first, then I'll be fine. So let's whip the sniper out. Alright, now the dog's going to run towards me. I need to make sure I get him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, use something other than the MK for once. Don't see that every day. I'll try and throw in a few like different things every now and again so so you can see more stuff. And we are about to meet the, the next boss, which as you can probably guess from the cutscenes that preceded it, is gonna be the fear. Which is the, the weird freaky guy that jumps around everywhere and gets invisible. So here we go. Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a beating limb at all. The boss's apprentice. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time. For 
you to feel the fear! Alright, this guy might be called the fear, but there's nothing to be scared of, to be honest. First of all, just um, cure yourself, because you took that arrow to the knee. There we go, finally managed to crank one of those jokes out. Even though I don't play Skyrim, to be honest. But yeah, there's nothing to fear, because I'm about to show you a pro tip. And this is one that, obviously, I found online myself when I was doing European Extreme. But it works really well, and you, you can stamina kill him for, for pretty much nothing. So, what you're going to need is, uh, is a stun grenade. Let me just save in case uh, I, I fuck this up. You going to save? Yeah, uh, what you're going to need is a stun grenade and a fake death pill. And armed with those two things, you are going to kill him in the space of like 20 seconds. I don't remember who I actually saw it from, but pretty much all of the, the European extreme people and the, the speedrunners use it. So Good luck. Thanks. It's a pretty awesome tactic. So here we go. Okay. Just need to make sure I don't get stuck on this thing here. And then I turn around and then I need to I need to use a death pill so that when I fall I'm just in front of this this rope here. Sometimes he uh, he approaches you and cuts the cuts the cord and if that happens then you just try again. But and when he's turned around, you just use your um, revival pill, throw the stun grenade, and cut the cord. And for some reason, that takes all of his stamina away, and he dies. The fear! The fear! I see it! The fear! So we've got two trophies as well for our effort, and these are, if you remember, I set some mouse traps down last time, and uh, let me just check if I've caught one of those um, one of those snakes. Hey, this works. That's so great. Oh, I thought that would have tasted nice, actually. Damn it, poisonous frog. I'm not going to need that. So yeah, like I said, you get two trophies, one for obviously using the fake death pill and one for taking the fear out as well, so it's a good, it's a good little tactic. Another frog, and another frog, damn it. Okay, you get a spider uniform for this as well. And the spider uniform, I seem to remember, if you, if you wear the uniform and you call like someone up, they tell you the, like, what's good about it, but... I don't remember. Let me let me just check it. If, if they talk about something else, then I'll just um, I'll skip the conversations. There seem to be traps planted throughout that area, and they look a little primitive. Yeah, but this is their Sigand. 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 That you say. All right, fine. If they're not going to tell you, then I will. Basically, you get 80% uh, camo when you're standing and 70% camo while you're running. Like no matter where you are. But you, you. Oh sh. Yeah, I haven't got my thermal goggles on. You pay the price by. Um, hold on. Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? Yeah, he's telling me what I already know. Yeah, and uh, you pay the price by your stamina depleting like two or three times as quick as it normally does. So you, you never really need it, to be honest. The, the stamina depletion is, is too fast to to make it a good idea. This has gone off, so is that. Damn, most of these have gone off. I'm going to have to throw these all away. Pretty tasty. Good stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of... What? I, just, I caught this fairly recently. 
Okay. Let's go. Let me just pick that up just in case I throw away a lot of food. So in case I get hungry. <laughs> that made it sound like it's real life or something. Okay. Once again, I'm lost as, as usual. I think. Oh, flipping hell. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a caratan right next to me there if you see it. They're in the weirdest places. Okay. That is a seriously difficult trophy to play through the game and get them all. Ah, I've gone the wrong way. Turn back. At least when you come in like this, you know that you just have to go straight ahead. So it's not too difficult like this. Can I go through the side? Oh, I, might as not, I might as well not risk it. Even when that thing's still, if you kind of touch it, you. He falls to the ground and acts like he's he's been hit. There we go. Back to the warehouse. I think I think everyone should be at least one floor below. But let me just make sure. Because he was on the top floor last time. But I think he should be one floor below. And I'll improve my camo as well while I'm at it. I think Split is still the best. Well, Spider's the best technically, but like I said before. I like the... <laughs> I like the, the zombie and Splitter combination. I think it was cool. Alright. Yeah, he should be on the... Yeah, there he is, the next floor down. So I'll deal with the guys at the bottom first. Which is not going to be easy. Kind of crisscrossing. I should wait till they're further away from each other. Where is he? Yeah, okay. I can take this guy out first. There we go. To be honest, he makes a lot of noise. I'm surprised they don't hear it. Guy. Cool. Okay. I think um, the things respawn, like everything that I got from here last time, it kind of respawns, so the suppressor should be there as well. So I can get that. It's nice that that respawns anyway. Okay. Just, in, just see if this guy has any bullets. I need to move forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohad. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet anyway, but you better hurry. They've already finished the phase two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah, he even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? 
That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. Alright, so... Saving the game, Snake? As you've heard from Eva, the next uh, opponent is going to be the end. Which is going to be one of the best, well, one of my favourite boss battles of the entire saga. And I'm not. That's going to be kind of unedited. It's going to be a long video. So um, yeah, that's going to be the next part. So I will see you then. Snake, have you seen Earth versus the Spider? Nope. It's about this spider that suddenly mutates into a giant monster. They bring it into the city in a state of hibernation, but it wakes up and starts wrecking the place. So why did the spider turn huge? I told you, it suddenly mutated. Yeah, right. Snake, it's people like you that take all the fun out of watching movies. Always nitpicking and taking things too seriously. Honestly, why even bother? Look, the important thing isn't that it got big. Then what is important? The fact that there's a huge spider destroying the city. Suspend your disbelief. That's the whole point of movies. <laughs>